Welcome to RA Online. I am Dr. Sudakshina, Professor of Anatomy. Today we are going to talk about the spotters of lower limb, the first session, the most important exam spotters which will be kept for your exam. As you know that we give spot identification of structures of the soft parts. So today we are going to talk about some of the soft part spot identification spotters in this session. So coming to the first spotter of today's session, you can see over here, this is a specimen, a gross specimen of the knee joint has been kept. So you can see the knee and the lower part of the thigh, the anterior aspect of the thigh. And you can visibly see a part of a bone which is very easily visible. That is the shin of the tibia which is seen over here. And uh, so thus, if you see the pin structure, so as the question comes in exam, in your practical exam, we ask you that identify the pin structure which will carry the first half of the question's mark. Along with that, we will be giving you a tagged question along with the identifier or the spot identifier. So here the pinned uh, structure is definitely the ligamentum patellae. You can see over here that is the ligamentum patellae. And here I have also written. So first part you have to definitely identify the uh, slide. So identify the structure and that is the ligamentum patellae. So to repeat this part is the ligamentum patellae. This has been pinned. The structure which is pinned over here is a ligament and it is the ligamentum patellae. And it is definitely the patellar tendon. The tag question can be asked that how is the patellar ligament formed? So within one minute you have to answer this question. So what are the key points in this question? So definitely the medial and the lateral portions of the tendon of quadriceps. So you know that the anterior compartment of thigh, the muscles of the anterior compartment of thigh is together called the quadriceps femoris muscle which is quadri means four. So there are four muscles which form together, they join together and they form the common single tendon which has a medial and a lateral portion and it comes down. So it has a medial and a lateral portion and it kind of encloses the patella and it forms a single tendon from after enclosing the patella and that is called the ligamentum patella tendon and that goes and inserts to the tibia. So the anterior aspect of the tibia or the tibial tuberosity, it goes and inserts over here. So to repeat, how is this patellar tendon formed? You have to tell that the quadriceps femoris, the tendon is a common tendon. The quadriceps femoris are four anterior compartment muscles of the th anterior compartment of the thigh joined together and the medial and the lateral portions of the tendon form actually encloses the patella and it goes and inserts, forms the ligamentum patellae and inserts to the tibial tuberosity. Some of portion of this ligamentum patellae also merge with the capsule of the knee joint. So it can merge with the capsule of the knee joint and it also forms the medial and lateral patella retina cula. Okay. So it can also come as a short note. So that's why I have kept a little more uh, theory in these tag questions, though you may not have so much time to answer the tag questions. So here you can see that the ligamentum patellae is the spot identifier, which will actually give you the first half of the marks of your spotter. So that is the identify. So you have identified it as ligamentum patellae. Next is definitely question can come as how is it formed or where it is inserted that also can come so if the question is where it is inserted then definitely this is the answer okay so the most probably we ask that where it is inserted and how it is formed these are the two options of tag questions which we can have now if you get a ligamentum patellae as a short note question then definitely you have to write a little more then you have to explain the quadriceps muscle so what are the four components of the quadriceps muscle or the muscles of the anterior compartment of thigh you have to talk about that so now coming to the patellar tendon the patellar ligament how long it is so this patellar ligament is about 5 cm if we measure from the patella, from the apex of the patella, so the lower part of the patella, after it is formed, 
still it inserts to the tibial tuberosity, the length of the patellar tendon is 5 centimeters in length. Okay, and it will vary in its length. So it has a it can vary because when you flex the knee, the length is increasing. Where, where, whereas the length is extended, the length becomes less. So the patellar tendon should be named the ligamentum patellae as it connects a bone. So why is it named along with patellae or the patellar ligament? Because it connects a bone. That is the patella is a bone. It is a sesamoid bone. Patella is a sesamoid bone. Now that can also be asked in your MCQ question or it can be asked in your viva discussion also. So sesamoid bone which is actually being formed within this ligament and it connects this patella to the tibial tuberosity. So connects a patella. So this is a very important peculiarity. Normally a ligament will connect a muscle to the bone but in this case you can see that it is connecting the patella to the tibial tuberosity. Patella is a sesamoid bone which is being developed within the ligament that is the ligamentum patellae. So to repeat this Potter as it goes, so you can see over here what is this identifier? If there is a pin which has been put, the tag question will be pasted near the spotter which will be kept for your exams and you will be asked to identify the pin structure. So when you are asked to identify the pin structure, you have to name the pin structure that is the ligamentum patellae in this case. Next is either the question will be how it is formed. Then you have to write this that definitely it is formed from the tendon of the quadriceps on either side the medial and the lateral portions of the quadriceps muscle. Now you know how is the quadriceps muscle formed or the quadriceps what are the components? The main components of quadriceps are there are four muscles that's why the name is quadriceps and you have the rectus femoris and the three vasti muscles.